Hello, what is up everybody? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast car video. And in today's video, we will be checking out the CM model LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 55 GT, a uh, 35 GT RR, sorry. And this is from the Malaysia Diecast Expo 2024 exclusive, uh, which is the, uh, like I said, LBWK uh, Nissan GTR. And this is quite a unique one as well. As um, if you might have remembered in the previous video, I've made a review on the uh, Mitsubishi Evolution 9. If you do uh, manage to review, uh, watch that review, uh, yeah, uh, pretty great. And if you haven't watched this review, you can go check it out right now. As um, well, in today's video, we will be checking out this review and uh, well, basically reviewing it showing you the details and all but um yeah let's start it off from the box or also known as like the sleeve or anything uh so let's start off from the side right here cm model logo right there lb silhouette works gt nissan for 35 gtrr and um yeah there is the car inside in the uh, acrylic case moving to the top cm model uh 164 scale um <clears throat> So the sleeve is almost in this like white-ish gray sort of color Moving to the back So like in the previous uh, video where I reviewed the Evolution, Mitsubishi Evolution It actually says uh, MDX 2024 and the logo uh, on the box This one does not, it just says CM model Colorful miniature model and there it is the um, website if you need it Moving to the bottom of the box Let's see, uh, CM model, colorful miniature model, uh, MDX 2024, Nissan Motor Corporation, uh, 164 scale NGCM model, CM model, uh, what, um, their websites and also their socials, 14 and up, and um, yeah, I guess that's all. So let's go ahead and take it out from the sleeve. Before that, let's uh, just see this card right here as the background. So it says right here, LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR. Colorful miniature model CM. MDX 2024. And there is the sort of like illustration of the car from the side, which is actually pretty cool. Quite love that. Very nice. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the car uh, right here. So let's uh, take it out. Unlike the uh, Lancer Evolution, this car actually has the transparent base. The Lancer Evolution does not. So if you can see right here, yes, you do have this sort of like translucent or transparent uh, base right here. It says LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR. There is the car presented on the base right there. It looks stunning. The main attraction is basically on the roof. Many people love the roof, uh, how it's designed because of the MDX 2024 logos on the roof. So there is the car on its base. Pretty cool. What else is included? Same as the uh, Evo, Mitsubishi Evo. It does come with spare wheels, which I'm gonna show you in a bit later. Uh, so there's the spare wheels. We'll uh, check that out later soon. So um, yeah, I guess let's take the car. Oh, should I uh, show the spare wheels first, I think? Yeah, let's do it. So if you are wondering, these wheels are sensed um, inwards, so if, I don't know if you can see it, but they are stanced. And if you're wondering, does this roll? No, it doesn't even come with axles. So it's basically like a static wheel option for the car. Basically, you are not able to roll the car at all. So um, quite a bummer, but still you do get the stanced up look for the car. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but here is the rims. So black dot rims with six spokes in it. And you do have brake calipers and the caliper color is in yellow. 
uh, what does it say the tires um, what does it say Toyo tires so it says Toyo tires for the um, like um, uh, on the tire itself if you don't uh, if you don't know there it is same goes for the other wheels and yeah let's take a look at it later on but for now let's open up the car and uh, take it up from the base so if you don't know how to get this this is basically only available at Malaysia Dica Expo and it's only available for only one day as uh, uh, basically during the MDX it apparently got sold out and basically once it sold out uh, once it sells out basically um, they won't produce it anymore they won't uh, they don't have it anymore basically and um, yeah those who managed to get it um, yeah it was a great one and overall um, how to get this basically there was a package where you need to buy it the whole package uh, which costs around 200 Malaysia Ringgit in that uh, whole package you get like a tote bag two uh, cars which is one the GTR right here and also the uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution and you basically get two um, keychains sort of and uh, yeah it's quite good you can check out the keychains in my first video where I reviewed the um, Mitsubishi Evo so here's the car on the turntable looks pretty great not gonna lie it reminds me of the car that I've reviewed from Mini GT previously which was the uh, uh, LB Works Sil uh, Nissan Silvia S15 if you don't remember that yeah I've done a review about it previously but this time it is the R35 and um, yeah judging by the uh, whole design of the car it looks pretty nice not gonna lie it's, it, it's in its um, famous livery of sphere light if I'm not mistaken and it looks pretty great LB, uh, Liberty Walk basically and um, yeah I guess without further ado let's take a look a closer look at the car there it is, the uh, Nissan GTR R35, and uh, we'll start from the back here. So you do have these these massive rims, uh, massive wheels, and massive rims, uh, which are quite quite good, if you ask me. Colored in black. <clears throat> so uh, let's start from the back right here. You do have a bit of some sponsors at the back right here. At the front here, it says LB Performance. 5x um, sponsor right there number 23 on the door you do have this electric sort of design like thunder sort of electrocuted design which is nice sponsored by liquid moly as well hug hug hotel group i think that's what it's, uh, that's what it says it says lb tokyo right there you do have a black um side mirror right there which is not um, rubber it's actually plastic pretty cool moving down to the front you do have the uh, transparent plastic headlights which are pretty cool so it says fear light right there on the um, front grille right there it has the GTR logo right there as well LB performance right there massive front um, bumper and also um, front grille <coughs> which is actually pretty cool you do have the extended front uh, bumper right there as well some hood intakes right there LB racing LBWK a small number 23 as its racing number right there for the windshield banner, it says LB Silhouette Works. So for the interior, you do have a blacked out um, interior with a blacked out dashboard and also it's right hand drive, just if you're wondering. So for the roof right here, yes, you can see that there are many MDX logos on the um, roof, Malaysia Dicas Expo 2024 logos. 
right there which is actually pretty cool and unique you can uh, pause to take a look at the design of the roof which is actually pretty cool so here's the side pretty similar as just now um, overall pretty standard and pretty cool let's take a look at the rear window right here so you have some sponsors lbwk toyo tires what else uh, i don't know what are the other uh, sponsors right there but they are pretty cool and uh, for the spoiler right here on the top it says liberty walk right there you do have this sort of small little uh, black carbon fiber um, spoiler right here and um, yeah you do have some sponsors right here as well and on the other side i'm not sure what does it say but yeah you do have a pillar at the middle as well just if you're wondering and also this small little ducktail near the back here as well so you do have the two rear circle rear lights right here colored in red sphere light liquimoli mini gt oh wait Oh, so there is a mini gt like sponsor at the back right there which is actually pretty interesting like beneath the rear light right here mini gt which is nice so for the license plate what does that say it says lb performance i think not bad uh you do have the uh twin exhaust pipes on each side basically colored in blue sort of like the blue tips uh, blue tip uh, exhaust at the back right here you do have these massive rear diffusers as well colored in black I don't know if you can see it yeah there it is and let's take a look at the base so the base is actually plastic compared to the uh, Mitsubishi Evo which was metal so it says CM model 2009 Nissan GTR R35 used under license and these parts right here are basically um, detachable as you can basically swap out the wheels i'm gonna show you right now so here's the car here are the set of rims that i showed you just now hold on let me focus in set of rims that i showed you just now open it up So what you can do is basically you have to pull these out. There it is. Oh yeah, before I forget to show you, uh, let's put it back for a while. Did you, uh, you managed to see the axles, just if you're wondering. It does roll smoothly. Uh, many, may, maybe people are asking, does it roll or not? Yes, it does roll. For these set of rims, of course, I mean these set of wheels. But if once you swapped out, these wheels so it ends up being like this and uh, you take these set of rims and place it there let me just show you it does not roll no matter how hard you push so basically the car does not move much which uh, basically means that these uh, wheels are basically unrollable just if you're wondering whereas the other ones do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the uh, unrollable wheels um, on the turntable so maybe you can get a better look at the stance of the car as well like i said it doesn't have axles it doesn't have like basically movability or anything it's just stationary type of a tire and um, basically more to like a um, uh, what do you call that uh, it's more to like a display piece sort of as it doesn't roll and uh, if you ask me personally the second wheels look great i mean you do get the um, negative camber sort of like maybe a 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 to 1 uh, camber which is great for the front and rear wheels um, but then again it does not roll like I said even though I put it on the turntable try to move it it does not roll uh, compared to the other one uh, whereas that one actually does roll 
so some cars specifically from cm model they do have this uh, um situation of the two tire um part where one it's either the tires roll or two the tires don't roll as they give like spare wheels so the first pair of the spare wheels they basically of course they have to roll the second ones are optional like the uh, mitsubishi evolution 9 that i reviewed previously both wheels are uh, able to roll whereas this one basically one rolls and one does not roll just uh, to tell you guys as uh, well like i said no axle or anything but yeah overall if you ask me personally this uh, Mercedes, i mean the uh, nissan gtr uh, sil lb silhouette doesn't look that bad it's very very nice especially with the detail on the roof where it says mdx 2024 all over it it's uh, super great very nice just that it feels a bit too like a generic body of a design uh, the only addition is just the MDX on the top of the roof. Uh, other than that, it just feels like a regular LBWK sphere light uh, design where it's just this regular white and yellow that's basically used on the LBWK R34, the Nissan Silvia S15, and the older Silvia. So, like I said, um, feels like more to a generic design of the car uh, just that they added the MDX 2024 on the uh, roof but yeah overall I pretty do much like this car it's very very nice uh, overall they've done a pretty good job and uh, yeah I do really like it but yeah there you go that's my review of the uh, Malaysia Diecast Expo 2024 MDX uh, LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GTRR but yeah, once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.